Did you realize there is a big difference between investment properties and income properties? Now, understand I can't give legal or tax advice, but I want you to think about it in this way. I had a couple that came through an open house and they are looking at making an investment property, something that they purchased where their children are going to be living in the property while they're going to school. This is definitely different than an income property. An income property is where you receive and derive income from the actual rents received on the properties. Now, sometimes it's important to realize that an investment property is actually a really good venue for a tax strategy. And the reason behind that is because if you actually purchase a property, and even though it's declared as an income property, if the investment actually costs you more than the income you're bringing in, it still could be an exceptional investment write-off. Income properties, you do have to put it on your tax returns. And some of the other things that come along with that is if you happen to buy an investment property that's outside of the state that you currently live in. So as an example, in California, if you buy a property anywhere in the state of California, you're going to be paying income tax on the income that you receive. If you happen to have a property outside of the state of California, you may have to pay a little bit of tax on that income that you earn in that state to that state, but you also would be earning an income on your rental. And so you would be paying taxes as well in the state of California. It's still a good thing to look into, but it is something to be aware of because of the fact that oftentimes that tax that you pay for the out-of-state state, say that three times, ends up being an additional write-off. So lots of layers to this. I love working with investment properties. I love working with the income properties. If this is something of interest to you and you look forward to having this be part of your strategy for potential write-offs and or for potential retirement, give me a call. Also, if you have friends and family that have looked into this, pass this on to them and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So hopefully you understand the difference now between an investment property and why it might be good versus an income property and why it also may be good. Have an amazingly blessed day. I'm Krista. Bye.